Today's quick fix is we're going to repair some threads in a piece of aluminum. For this application, I'm going to fix it with a, what's called a helicoil. It's a little uh, coil of threads that is installed with a uh, special tool. And to do that, you need to drill out to the appropriate sized threading hole for this tap. Comes with, this all comes with a kit, so you can re-thread, use the tool, install the threads, break off the little tang, and your threads are fixed. And I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing, you want to uh, get the correct size drill bit. And I'm using a drill press here just because if you can, it's a lot more precise. But you can use a uh, handheld electric drill. Aluminum's real soft, so it drills real easy. If it was steel, you have to go a little slower. But I'm um, this hole is not a blind hole, so it works real good. All right, all the way through. That's it for that. Okay, next uh, operation is to tap the hole. I use a little, uh, I dip my tap into a little bit of uh, uh, cutting oil just to lubricate it a little. With aluminum as soft as it is, you don't have to, but it's always a good practice. It kind of keeps the chips from going everywhere. Um, obviously, with steel, it doesn't it wouldn't uh, tap this easy, but uh, you just go slow. Don't break the tap off, especially in the harder materials, uh, because these are, high sp are hardened steel, high-speed steel. Uh, very hard to drill out and get out of there. Um, kind of just go a little bit, go back and forth. Like I said, aluminum cuts real easy, so you can kind of just go all the way through, and uh, it's pretty easy. Back it out. Uh, the chip, the, the little flutes in the uh, tap will take care of the chips. And that feels like I'm all the way through. Just spin it back out and we'll install the threads. Installing the threads onto the tool. The little tang is what uh, holds it in there. And with this uh, tool on top to help turn it in there, get it. Just keep turning the tool until you get the threads down in there. You're going to want to get the threads down in there. You want to get them below the surface a little bit because uh, that's because uh, they kind of wedge themselves in there. That's how they don't back out of there. Some people might use a little bit of like Loctite and that's okay. You want to let that dry uh, before you put the bolt that you're going to put in there. Once you get it down in there, you'll feel it. I kind of left a little bit so it bottomed out. Pull that out of there. And then one little one little thing you got to do. And the last thing you got to do is uh, bust off that little tang in there. And then that that's all you got to do. And, uh, and then the threads will be uh, permanently secured in there. That's all you got to do to uh, replace some damaged threads in uh, a fixture or something that has been stripped out. This works on motorcycles, cars, just about anything. So I hope you learned a little something. It's easy to do and pretty inexpensive.